Okay, so for this next example, we're given this Venn diagram and we're asked to complete the following operations. Again, remember that the A, the big D, and the capital C here, those are all the sets. The one, Roman numeral 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, are the regions. They're just trying to help you figure out which region is which. And then the elements are the numbers, okay? So when I ask for what is set A in roster notation, I'm going to start with my uh, braces and list every single number that's in set A. Now set A is the entire circle, right? So anything that's in, t in the circle gets to be in there. So I see an 11, a 3, a 12, a 5, a 7, and a 6. Now you could have written those in any order. As long as you get all of the uh, elements in there, you're good. The next question says A union B, which means I can be in anything in A or anything in B because this is an or. So I'm going to list everything that I see in either of those two circles. So I see 3, 11, 12, 5, 7, 6. I also see a 1, a 2, a 10, and a 9. Again, you could order those however you want to order them, just as long as you got all of those in there. The next one says B intersect C. Now intersect, that's an and. So and means it has to be in the circle B and it has to be in circle C at the same time. So the only section that is in both B and C at the same time is this section in here which is both regions 5 and 6. So the answer will be all of the elements in regions 5 and 6, which is 5, 7, and 9. Okay, the next one, B complement. So B complement means everything that is not inside this B circle. So I'm going to just start listing everything that I can see not in that circle. So 11 and 3 and 6 and 8. There's no elements in region 8, but if there was, I would include those as well. All right, our last example is A intersect, B intersect, C. Do you remember what intersect means? Intersect is an and, which means it has to be inside both all three circles. And the only section that's in all three circles is that very middle section. And what's in that very middle section that's in all three circles? A five and a seven. And that's how you do uh, set operations with Venn diagrams. Next we're going to construct our own Venn diagram. When you're constructing your own Venn diagram, it is important to start in the innermost, just like we talked about a little earlier. Um, I have a universal set, so I'm going to label that outside here. Um, I've got set A. So I'm going to draw a circle for set A. I'm going to draw another circle for set B that overlaps, and another circle set C that overlaps both. Okay, uh, and I'm going to start on the innermost. So the innermost section would be A intersect, B intersect, C. So just looking at my sets, what belongs in all three sets A, B, and C? Well, three is common in A and C, but not in B. Six is not common. It looks like the only thing that's common in all three is 10. So I'm going to put 10 inside my braces and I can move this over a little, which means 10 goes inside the innermost circle of all the intersection of all three circles. So now I want to decide what is in, let's say A intersect B. What's in common between A and B? It looks like what's common in A and B would be 
again, only 10. So in this section right here, I can only have 10. Well, 10 is already used up, so I don't have to worry about that at all. Let's do our next section. Let's do B intersect C. I'm going to erase these. Between B and C, what is common? Well, 4 is common. 5 is common, not 6, 7, 8, 9 is common, and 10 is common. Well, dot 10 should be common because 10 is going to be in all, all of three of them. So intersect uh, B intersect C would be 4, 9, and 10. So on my picture, B intersect C is this region right here. Now, 10 is already taken up, but 4 and 9 need to go in both B and C, but not in A. So I am going to put uh, the 4 and 9 in this part of the circle. Uh, okay, let's do the next one. Let's say A intersect C. So between A and C, I'm looking at my lists and I'm deciding what's in common. It looks like 3 is in common between A and C. 4 and 5 are not, 6 is not, 8, 9 is not, and 10. So 3 and 10. Now, in our picture, this is the region, that's A intersect C. Now 10 is already used up, but 3 is not yet, so that means I need to put 3 in that region that's between A and C, but not in B. So I've got every intersection between any two, and I'm also going to, let's see, let's underline all of the ones we've already taken care of in our union, in our universal set. So I've already taken care of three. Let's see, I've already taken care of four. I've already taken care of nine, and then I've already taken care of ten. So I still need to fit one, two, five, six, seven, and eight somewhere on the picture. I'm going to go back to set A. In set A, I've got 1, 3, 6, and 10. Well, 3 and 10 are already taken care of, so 1 and 6 must be in my set A, but not yet in any of the other sets. Let's go to set B. What's in set B? Well, 4, 7, 9, and 10. 4, 9, and 10 are already placed on my diagram, but 7 is not. So I can add 7 to the B circle, but nowhere else. So now I've taken care of 1 and 6 and 7. OK, uh, Okay. let's try C. In my C circle, I need to have 3. Well, I've already got it. 4, I've already got that. 5, I don't have that, so I'm going to write it in. 8, I don't have that, so I'm going to put that in my C circle as well. 9, I've already got, and 10, I've already got. All right, so I've added 5 and 8. So I should have all of my universal set done. If I don't, then I have to add um, any other elements to the outside of all three intersections. So in the universal set, I used 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I did not use the 2 anywhere. So that means I'm going to put the 2 in the region that's outside of all of the circles, yet still within the universal set. And that's how you construct a Venn diagram. Next we're going to look at the equality of sets. If two sets are said to be equal, if they represent the same regions in the Venn diagram, this deductively proves that the two sets are equal. So we're going to be doing basically more set operations. So the first thing I'm going to do on this particular set is do A intersect B, because that's in the parentheses. A intersect B is region 2, meaning this the part that overlaps both of them. Okay, But what I'm trying to find out now is what is A union beam prime which is the complement. The complement means all of the other regions. So in this case, we're talking about region 1, 3, and 4. Okay, 
So that would be my answer for that first question, what regions represent. All right, let's do the next one. What regions represent A prime union B prime? So A prime means all of the regions that are not in A. So A has both one and two regions within it, right? So what are the regions not in A? Regions three and four. B prime means all of the regions that are not in B. Well, that would be region one and region four. The question I'm asking is, what is A prime union B prime? So I need to take A prime and B prime and union them. Union is or, which means it could be in either the first set or the second set. So that would be region one, three, and four. Those are the regions that are involved in A prime and B prime. Now, what do you notice about the answer to the first question and the answer to the second question? Note their regions are exactly the same. So because their regions are exactly the same, I can say that they are equal sets. So A intersect B, the complement of that, is equal to the complement of A union complement of B. So those two set operations are equal. All right, so the next one we have A union B prime. So I have to do the inside first, A union B. So A union B means all of the regions that are in either A or B, because this is an or. All right, but I really want A union B the complement. So the complement is anything that's not in regions one, two, and three, which then must be region four. And that's the answer for that particular question. The next one I have to do A prime again. A prime is region three and region four which means anything that's not in A. B prime is anything that's not in B, or the complement of B. So we have region one and region four. And I'm going to be figuring out what is A prime intersect B prime. Intersect is an and, which means it has to be in both the complement of A and complement of B. Well, what's in both the complement of A and B? Well, the only one that's common in both is region four. So the question, the answer to the first question was region four. The answer to the second question was region four. So we can say that A union B prime is equal to A prime intersect B prime. So these are truly equal. Now it turns out that these are actually a very famous set of equalities um, which are called De Morgan's Law and we just basically proved that. Now you can prove any two sets using the same um, operations if their regions come out to be exactly the same. But these De Morgan laws are common and they're going to be helpful a little bit more in our logic unit. We're going to talk a, a little bit more about that here. But today you're just going to be asked to prove that they're equal or not equal. But these are kind of interesting laws that will come up again. And that concludes our lesson on set operations with three sets.